What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here, bringing you another week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We are marching our way through April. We are right around the corner from May, so if you're not on the water yet, you should be on here any day now. Doesn't matter what part of the country and things should be starting to uh, get liquid for you. So we're excited to get on the water and we got some new gear to take with us. We're gonna jump right in with a rod. Now this one actually isn't new, but it is a restock for us. So this is the Huddleston Deluxe Huddleston Rod, the HUD Rod as, as it's known. So Ken Huddleston, the inventor of those fantastic swim baits that everyone loves to throw, he said one of the number one questions that he was fielding was what rod should they throw these things on? So he set out to create one that is perfect for the Huddleston. Teamed up with Matt Newman from iRod, so you get kind of that blend of the old school brute power with some of that new school, new components, nice high modulus blank on here. And we've been fielding a ton of questions from you guys and customers all over the place of when these things are coming back. Well, they are back. We got an awesome restock on these things. So there's killer rods that are designed for throwing the Huddleston. So you have these Fuji guides that are actually spiral or acid wrap design on there. So it's just gonna take away any of that uh, bending pressure on the rod, just adding to that power. Below here, we got a Fuji reel seat, high modulus blank, which I mentioned earlier. So you're gonna get some you know, increased sensitivity, but still plenty of brute power. And then these nice uh, AA rated cork grips on here. Really, really nice, comfortable. I mean, don't waste your time with other swim bait rods. This is the one that you need when you're gonna be throwing those Huddlestons and we love throwing those Huddlestons. So definitely check them out. We got them back in stock. We're excited. We hope you guys are as well. All right. Got the rod out of the way, let's take a look at a new reel. Got a new one from Abu, Abu Garcia. We got the new Revo STX. This is a casting reel, of course, and it's a cool one. So they're also using the uh, Abu's asymmetric design that they've been using on a lot of their reels lately, which I really, really like. What that al allows them to do is give you a larger spool. So you're gonna still be able to hold a ton of line on here, but it maintains that small you know, profile, that palm ability. So it's really comfortable in hand. Doesn't matter what rod you put it on there, but you're just gonna get a little bit more line than you might be able to get with some other reels, which I like. Exterior, we also have a 95 or a 90, 90 or 95 uh, millimeter handle on there. Either way, it's a large full size handle, which I like. You know, I don't have tiny hands on there, so it's really nice having that full size handle. I feel like I just get more positive control over my baits, a little bit easier cranky, a little more cranking power. Oversized knobs, again, same thing, just great for those uh, guys with big hands. Internally, we got 11 bearing system on here. So super, super smooth casting. We have the new ICB4 uh, braking system on here. So again, just total control of whatever bait you're throwing. And you can control those brakes with a, an external adjustment here, which is nice for on the fly adjustments. Whether your lures are changing or the conditions on the water are changing, you know, wind picks up, wind dies down, anything like that. You're able to make those adjustments on the fly. They also have their new line guide system where they're pushing the line guide out a little bit. What that's doing is it's minimizing the extreme angles, both lateral and longitudinal up and down. So you're just gonna get increased casting performance out of there because you're not putting any of those stress of those, those angles on the, the line. So pretty cool new reel. New to the Revo lineup, everybody knows about the Revo lineup. It's a killer reel, so really strong, robust, 25 pounds of max drag in this thing, so you're gonna be able to turn, turn the head of the biggest bass in your lake. Just a cool new reel to, to check out, add to your lineup. All right, now let's get away from gear for just a second here and take a look at some new shades that we're bringing in. New to Tackle Warehouse, we are bringing in the Finnor brand. So really cool one. So new shades to us, however, the Finnor brand has been around for a long time. I mean, these are some of the pioneers of big tuna gear been around forever, so they use that same precision, that, that same manufacturing process to bring that uh, to these shades. So I really like these a lot. So we'll start with the lenses. I mean, one of the most important parts about the shades, killer lenses, giving you crystal clear views. They have some proprietary technologies that really cut through mist, cut through haze super, super well. So whether you're, you know, bed fishing, you need to be able to sight fish, you know, see some of those fish on the bed, or, you know, you're out on the big blue and you're just dealing with a lot of intense sunlight. These lenses are gonna shield your eyes, make you be able to see under the water a little bit better, and then reduce any of that fatigue. They are backed up with some killer frames. So I have the Hell's Bay in my hand. We also have the popper down here. Uh, the frames themselves, also lightweight. You know, and speaking of that lightweight, the glass. I was really impressed with the glass lenses on these. I do like using glass lenses. I feel like I get a little bit clearer of a view. I know I'm not getting that impact resistance to them. Uh, but they're, the glass lenses can be a little bit heavy. Not so much on the Fin Noir. I did notice that the glass lenses on the Fin Noir shades, really lightweight complemented by those frames as well, also lightweight. Some of them have these ventilated hoods up in front or ventilated uh, shafts there just to let air, throw, air flow through. And then uh, you know some other ones like the popper here, they just have kind of that slim design on the side. So whether you're wearing buff or uh, you're just fishing in a muggy environment like Florida, something like that, you're not gonna fog up these lenses immediately. You're gonna be able to fish through some of those conditions, fish with your buff on, you know, kind of keep your face protected from that, uh, that sun and again, keep your eyes protected as well. So killer new sunglasses. I only brought out the two, the Hell's Bay and the uh, Popper here, but check out TackleWorlds.com. We got the full lineup of these things. They are awesome. Definitely get you a pair. I already got myself one. They are cool. All right, 
Let's jump into some baits. First up from Guggen, we got the Guggen Squad Bumpin' Spinner Bait. I don't know why they call it Bumpin' Spinner Bait, but I like to think it's because, you know, things go bump in the night. And this thing would be a killer nighttime spinner bait. Not just nighttime, you know, murky water, uh, anytime that the clarity is low, because you got these two uh, Guggen stamped big Colorado blades on there that are just gonna thump and churn and push and displace a ton of water. Whether you're you know, reeling them quick or you're just slowly crawling them along the bottom, it's just gonna push a ton of water so the bass are gonna be able to feel this thing and locate it, not necessarily visually, but just be able to feel it and locate it in there. So again, you know, great low light conditions, murky water conditions, anything like that. That's where these uh, double Colorado spinner baits shine. Awesome colors. It's just, it's a nice spinner bait, man. We got a Mustad Ultra Point hook on this thing. You got a double barbed keeper under the skirt. The skirt itself is hand tied silicone, so just premium skirt. Nice paint jobs up front there. And then I even like they included the, your little uh, line tie keeper here too. So it goes right over your R bend. It's a little silicone ring. So if you're maybe using braid and you're worried about it slipping down the line, or if you're one of the guys that prefers to use snaps with a lot of their baits so you can swap them out quick in a hurry, you can absolutely use a spinner bait and it comes already with that O-ring on there. So you don't have to use a split ring trick or you know source your, o -ring, your own O-ring for it. It comes right out of the package with it on there. So I think that's kind of cool. You know, they kind of thought of everything on this one. So a good one for some of those uh, low light conditions. Now, if you're looking for a trailer, Strike King's got us covered. So from Strike King, we got the new Flood Minnow. So this is actually from their new Saltwater series. So all the colors are saltwater inspired. They will absolutely slay in freshwater as well. I like this thing. It is just a universal bite getter shape. I mean, it just looks like a bait fish from any kind. So absolutely inshore guys, you can use it. Bass guys, you know it. I mean, if you want to throw this thing on a little A-rig, little ball head jig on the back of that spinner bait, anything you want to do, you got this nice little boot tail on the back that's going to give you some lively kicking action. Great colorways. As I mentioned, they are saltwater inspired, but they will be fantastic in, uh, in freshwater as well. But it, it just has that nice bait fish profile. And the size itself, unintimidating. You can use it on a lot of rigs, uh, underspin spinner bait, whatever you want to use it for. It's just going to get you a lot of bites. So nice profile, nice action, cool colors. A new one to check out from Strike King, the Flood Minnow. All right, let's downsize even further. Got one from Bass Assassin here. This is the Bass Assassin Crappy Dapper. So uh, kind of in the name, obviously it's meant for targeting crappie, panfish, other smaller bait fish, but you can absolutely use these for bass as well. I mean, I know the old adage, big bait get big fish, but I'm telling you, man, some of these little ones, absolutely. I've caught a ton of large fish on the littlest finesse baits. This one's gonna be no exception. So whether you wanna use this on a little ball head, maybe a finesse weighted swim bait hook, uh, you can even drop shot this thing. You know, possibilities are kind of endless as well for any of those finesse techniques. Uh, my bait finesse guys, absolutely, you can use this on your bait finesse uh, casting system. So it's a cool little bait for targeting a variety of fish or if the bass are keyed in on some of that smaller forage, absolutely, you can lay the hammer on them with these things. It's just a cool little, swim, uh, little uh, swim bait on here. Great boot tail on this one. So again, you're gonna get lively kicking action, you know, kind of that realistic profile with the molded head, molded eyes. You got some, uh, some ribs on the side here. Great colors loaded with some liquid salt and the bang attractant. So if you're drop shotting thing, this thing, it's gonna kind of expand your strike zone. But you know, even if you're just running it on a little weighted swim bait hook, it's just gonna get those fish to hold on a little bit longer, give you that extra half second you may need to get a hook in them. So cool little swim bait, definitely add it to your arsenal. Pan fish guys, you're gonna love it. Bass fish guys, absolutely as well. All right. Not finesse bait. Let's take a look at some new tubes from Magnum Baits. We got the Magnum Baits Reg Tubes. So again, it's the end of April here. So if you're fishing somewhere that still have fish on the bed, I want to look at the tube. It's a hot little bed bait. You know, if you're shaking this thing on their bed, it's gonna get, you know, you're absolutely gonna get bites from this thing. Just defending their bed or getting it off their bed, whatever the case may be. Cool little tube. So the Reg Tube here, got a ton of pentacles down on the bottom to give you extra action. The plastic itself, really, really soft yet durable, so you're gonna get nice action to it. We got some salt in here, and up at the front, you have a dense section of plastic. That's just gonna make rigging this thing even easier. So if you wanna use a tube jig, uh, if you wanna rig it weedless, uh, stupid tube style, however you wanna rig this thing, you got that dense plastic up front, just making it a little bit easier for you. Great colorways. Again, it's got the salt. It's got that soft body for a lot of action. Got the tentacles down below. Whether you're bed fishing, whether you're chasing smallmouth, whatever you wanna do, this thing's also gonna get you a ton of bites. So definitely check that one out from Magnum Baits. All right, let's take a look at a new jig from Dem Jigs. We got the Weedless Football Jig. Again, just a really nice jig. So we have their custom football head shape, great for crawling over boulders, crawling over chunk rock, uh, you know, just fishing on the bottom, not getting snagged as much. That's what's nice about the football jigs. So you got a 60 degree gamakatsu hook on this one. Again, that's gonna help you from not getting any of those snags, but it's also gonna help prevent it from rolling as you're crawling this thing along the bottom. 
And screw lock keeper on the inside, which you don't see on a lot of jigs. I think that's kind of a neat thing. So whatever trailer you do put on there, it's gonna stay on there nice and snug. So you're not gonna run through a ton of plastics as you're fishing this thing. I like that a lot, kind of a unique feature. The skirt itself, that's hiding that screw lock keeper system. Hand-tied silicone skirt. I do love a hand-tied skirt. They hang on there for a really, really long time. I like that. And then you have a nice weed guard on this one as well. So a nice combination of collapsibility so it's not going to interfere with your hook sets, but still going to shed some of that vegetation so you can reach some of those uh, bass that are tucked away in those underwater jungles that your, lake, uh, that your lake is hiding beneath the surface. So just a really nice jig to add to your arsenal. I mean, jigs are year-round fish capture, so definitely make sure to check this one out from Dem Jigs. All right, last up, we're going to take a look at some new storage options. So Bass Mafia, certainly not new to the market, but they have uh, done a little bit of a revamp, revamp on their brand. So we got some killer boxes that have gotten even better. So I got a new lid design, new latch design, and just kind of improved componentry throughout. So I have the 3700 and then I believe the 1800 here as well. So they got a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different products as well. I just got a couple on the table for us to look at today, but make sure to head over to tackleworlds.com, check out the whole lineup. So I do like, they uh, redid their uh, latch system. So now you have a single latch, still super robust. So it's gonna keep it closed, keep it clamped down nicely but it's just faster to get into and get out of. So especially those tournament guys that, you know, every second on the water counts, this is gonna be a cool new system for you because you can just access it so quick and easy. Now we have a clear view lid design on here. So, stay, so the same robust material, super impact resistant. So if you have expensive baits, uh, custom baits, uh, discontinued baits that you just don't wanna break or lose, I mean, this is gonna keep them really, really protected. And with that clear viewed lid system, there's no guessing as to what's inside of it. You don't need to keep track of it. You're gonna be able to see instantly. Same customizable dividers as always. And then on the bottom, we have some silicone rubber feet. So these things aren't gonna slide when they're on the deck of your boat, when they're on the bank, when you got them back in the workshop, whatever the case may be, they're not going anywhere. And they're also molded to be stackable on top of each other. So when you got a pile of these things, they're gonna sit well, sit nicely on top of each other. So again, ton of different sizes, ton of different options, just a new rebranding, some new cosmetics, some improved features, still have that super waterproof gasket on there to again, protect your baits even further. Make sure to check out the whole lineup on TackleWarehouse.com. And with that, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. As always, to learn more about these products or to shop for them, make sure to click the shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more just like it, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments which one of these baits you're most excited to put to, uh, to use on the water this season. All right, we'll see y'all next week.